As a little girl, my mother was a severe alcoholic, and I really didn't understand why she drank so much and why she couldn't stop, and I was angry and resentful at it. But it came to be known later on that she had a very severe mental illness, and she was medicating herself with alcohol because it was undiagnosed. And as an adult, I really appreciated her efforts fighting her addiction, even though she didn't do well raising me and my sister. And even though from the outside, it may look like she was just a failure all the way around. One thing I learned from my mother was never to give up and always fight back because she really did try to fight back. As a child, she checked herself in to rehab 11 different times by the time I was 12 years old. I remember very distinctly always going to visit her and her trying very hard to do all the steps and writing letters to me and sending me pictures and calling me all the time and promising me the world when she gets out. And she really tried. She never gave up. Even though she had a mental illness and even though she was battling an addiction, she went into rehab 11 different times. And I, you know, I appreciate that because I know a lot of women wouldn't do that. A lot of people wouldn't do that. And so one thing that I learned from my mother is never disappear into the night. Never Always fight back. If you have a little morsel of energy, the Bible says if you have faith of a mustard seed, you can move mountains. If you have a little bit left in you, you give it your all and you fight back. You don't give up. You don't disappear. Everything that I have in my life right now, I have fought for. I have fought for my inner peace. I have fought for my relationship with God. I have fought for my sanity. A lot of people don't know this, but I struggle with anxiety. I struggle with it and I don't take medication for it. I don't. I have learned how to cope with it myself and learn how to be aware of my thoughts and to meditate. But I fight back. I fight for the wellness of my children, to show them different, to break the cycle of mediocrity. I believe that it is so important to never give up because if something told you in the beginning that something was wrong and that there's more and left you with a little ounce of hope that you fought for in the beginning, you have to remember that and never give up because that is your soul talking to you. That is God talking to you, telling you that there is going to be a light at the end of the tunnel, that there is better, that there is more, that there is something worth trying for. But first you have to get tested. First, you're gonna go through the struggle. First, you're gonna learn what it means to earn something. And that is why I appreciate where I am in life right now. I appreciate everything that I have. I appreciate all the peace that I've been able to cultivate. I appreciate my happiness because I have earned it. I have worked for it. It's not something that just came to me easily and was given to me on a silver platter. I worked for that. I worked to live in the house that I live in. I worked to have my car and be able to make my car payments. I worked to build up my business. Work for it. Do not dread the work that you have to put in to get something because it is that, it is that work that is going to refine you. It is that work that is going to teach you, that's going to make you stronger. A diamond is only made under pressure. It's only made under pressure. And it is so important never to give up. Never just to disappear into the night when something is calling you in your soul. Because that calling, that message that you knew in the beginning, that's probably your purpose. And that is your duty as God's child to fulfill that. 